do you do? Welcome back to the heart of Atlanta at OTE Arena for another edition of Overtime Elite Basketball. We've got the 2-0 Y&G Dreamers and Eli Ellis and the R and RWE and Daquan Davis. I'm Alex Overtime Day, joined by the man, the myth, the legend, as he likes to be called, and I call him too, Overtime Tom. How are we doing, Thomas? It's just a nice nickname, that's all. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. not too bad, not too bad. Now, RWE, it took them a little while to get their first win, but they did in their last game without Somto. Yes, they finally got on the board after starting 0-2. They took down the City Reavers. They're checking out this last week. Carter Knox, unbelievable. Offensive powerhouse. Maybe the best offense player in all the OT, but he got a lot of help also from Big Nate, Messiah. Dio got some help from Jason Jackson. The whole team was kind of clicking, and I think them losing Somto gave them a little extra motivation to be like, whoa, guys, we need to pull it together. Um, you just saw the City Reapers get a win. They obviously looked solid here, but they handed the City Reapers their first and only loss of the season and finished it with an emphatic dunk, just with no time left on the clock, which was super unnecessary, but awesome. No Somto, no problemo. A lot of guys stepped up. Big Nate. Carter Knox, as as you said, maybe the best player at RWE, and Daquan Davis with 20 points, eight boards, and three dishes. Look, he is one of the most crucial players that they have on their team, and I'm excited to see what he's got facing off against Eli tonight. Yeah, I think if you ask every coach down here in Atlanta of the three teams, who would they pick number one? They would all take Daquan Davis, the ultimate leader, the ultimate floor general. He's known for being the best defensive player, the best playmaker, the best passer, but he's also been scoring a lot. 18 points per game. He's leading the entire league, uh, the entire league in minutes at 34 minutes a game. Uh, just the ultimate point guard, and he's going to have his hands full tonight with Eli Ellis. Speaking of Eli Ellis, the leading scorer in OTE. Last year, he was Mr. Irrelevant, the yep. last pick in the draft. This year, he's averaging 37 points a game, Tom. He has been unconscious from behind the arc. Yeah, he decided to start his OTE season uh, with a 44-point game, which is always nice. So he's averaging 37 points per game and shooting at over 50%. We all know about his shooting. He is easily the best three-point shooter in all of OTE. But what he's doing a lot this year also is getting to the basket, using his strength, using his uh, quickness, and being an awesome playmaker. The efficiency, the ability to create his own shot has really stood out from last year to this year. Let's take a look at his numbers from last year's campaign when he was with the City Reapers to now, Tom. I can't stop looking at the hair difference first and foremost, okay? The City Reapers look is not as good as the Dreamers look, but obviously you're seeing the points here. I mean, he has his own team now. Last year he was behind the Thompson Twins, really a third or fourth option on that team. Now he is the man, the centerpiece of the YMG Dreamers. Let's take a look at the starters for the YNG Dreamers. From left to right, number one, the brother of Eli, Isaac Ellis. Number 33, Abu Yarma. Number 15, Eli Ellis. Number 32, Don Lewis, or Dirt Road, as his teammates call him. So crazy. And number three, Kendrick Wilson. And for RWE, Hey, yo! What's good, our WE family? We're in the A under the bright lights. Overtime Elite. We're the future. Hey, Showtime. Let's get it. Number five from Baltimore, Maryland, Daquan Davis. Number 21, Jaden Wilkins, sharpshooter. Number seven, the big bonjour, Nathan Messia Dio. Number 99, J Jack, Jason Jackson. And last but not least, hey, Mr. Carter. Carter Knox. And we'll now welcome in the third member of our broadcast booth, Mr. Sniper Jones. How are we doing, Snipe? All right, Eli, you coming off super crazy at the beginning of the season, averaging 37. What's been the inspiration for you getting off to a crazy start? Uh, just knocking out shots, you know. People have been trying to double team, face guard, do all that stuff. But if I just hit shots and get to my spots, we're going to win games. And now to one of the most secret scorers in OTE, coming in averaging 18 points on the humble. How do you plan to shot this man across from you right now tonight? 
Uh, ball pressure. Uh, play like how normally every play, every play every day. So it's same game plan. He basically said he do this. Gentlemen, good game. Hope y'all lock in. We got two of the best teams in the country getting ready to play some basketball. RWE, Dreamers, let's get to it. Thank you, Snipe. That's our Adidas face-off. The refs are ready. The players are ready. Tom, ready. are you ready? I'm so ready right now. I uh, I think we had a little center there, they, a little miscommunication. They were going to dab each other up, and Big Nate said, no, thank you. Tough start. Tough start. Tom, who do you have winning this? Look, man, I love RWE. I love Cam and Nelson, but I got to stick with the Ellis brothers. I'm going with the YG Dreamers. They're going to make, they're gonna shoot 73s tonight and probably make around 40 of them. Carter Knox, Cash. Who you got? <laughs> uh, that cute. <laughs> I'll take RWE. Man, I love, look, we didn't talk a lot about Isaac Ellis, but I... Oh, big okay. Nate on the help defense. Sorry, Tom, go on. No, I just, I love the, the backcourt, right? The duo, the Ellis Brothers duo, they're going to shoot a ton of threes, they're going to be tough, they're going to foul you, they're going to steal the ball for you, they're going to pull your jersey, and, and I think that might be a little difference maker here tonight. Snipe, who do you have? Man, it's tough. I got to go Dreamers, bro. Hey! Wow. Yo, Santo is big, man. He's a, he's a big time game changer. Yeah, we didn't talk about it a ton in the, in the beginning, but obviously Santo Cyril, the Kentucky commit, is Isaac Ellis. Ellis. Isaac runs OTE in Atlanta. When he shows up in Atlanta, he always shoots the ball well. So that's the first three for the YNG Dreamers. Now the Dreamers want to take, they said they want to take at least 45 threes a game. 45. They're averaging 50, I think. Right? They're <laughs> averaging 50. That's one right there. Man, I wish I played for a coach like that. <laughs> right? Wilkins. Ooh. Ooh. Right back at him. Getting it going early here at the OTE Arena. Hey, look, you're seeing the matchup. I, I was, I assumed they were going to match up, but I had to make sure you got Daquan Davis guarding Eli Ellis. Quan obviously known as maybe the best defender in all of OTE. Eli Ellis, the leading scorer in all of OTE. It's the matchup that, I, I mean, I've been waiting for this one all year long. Especially on this side of the floor, too, because we've seen some great defense from Davis this year. There hasn't been a better scorer than Eli. I'm looking forward to see how that matchup shakes out. Fast Carter break. knocks on the fast break off oh. the backboard. That was kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie, Tom. Yeah, go right at Isaac if you're Carter Knox and finish at the rim. Although Carter Knox, I mean, uh, Isaac Jay Ellis. Hit me. Isaac Ellis does take about 90 charges a game. I know oh. everybody can shoot threes today. Everybody can <laughs> I love it. Very interesting, Coach Frazier is rocking with the same starting lineup that he won last game. Starting with Darian Sutton coming off the bench, which I like, gives him a little offense. As Don Lewis, Dirt Road. The nickname Dirt Road is crazy. Snipe, you like that nickname? <laughs> hey, that might be the best nickname. That's better than hype, man. That's the best nickname of the night for sure. He's a, technically a forward, but he plays like a big guard. And, uh, you know, when I asked for a player comp, they said Escalade from from, <laughs> and, from Escalade, Boy. I love it, bro. Yeah, Escalade player comp is crazy. I mean, he moves well. He has been really their third scorer, and, and it's going to be fun to watch him. Another from three. Is that the shooter? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, obviously, guys, we got a chat going on right now. We got a poll going. Who do you think is going to win? YNG Dreamers or RWE? We need as many people voting here as you got an RWE timeout. Chat, get active, get active. We got a ton of people in here. We need you to like, comment, the whole entire thing, this whole entire game. Hey, let's take a listen to Jeremy L. We got to get over. They just hit wide open shots. So this is Ellis' huddle here. He wants to play a really new school type of basketball. 45 to 53 is a game. He said, we won't outcoach you or outtalent you, but we will outculture you. And he said, all the little things matter. So it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, YG Dreamers do not have the same type of prospects that RWE has, but they have been in every game that they've played. Look, they're 2-0 for a reason. They're tough. They shoot a ton of threes. And I think when you have, I think Eli, whether you think it or not, he thinks he's the best player in OTE. And I think when you have that kind of confidence, when you have a guy who can do that, he just committed to uh, South Carolina, obviously a Division One school. When he committed, everyone was like, damn, he's playing in the SEC. That's that's pretty impressive. He's worked on his body a lot in the offseason. So the YNG Dreamers are not going to back down. Like, they don't care who they're playing against, when, where, what, how, who it is. Um, so RWE can't take them lightly at all. 
The chat go. is going crazy. I would say there's 90% RWE in here saying that RWE is going to win. But we got a couple. If Kevin Gonzalez is rocking with me. He said go, there it is, there it is. If I knew that 90% as we see the full court press here, okay, we're good. maybe two, more of a two, trap two. than a full court press. Big Nate from the corner. Let's go, we're out. That's all way off. That's all I'm talking. From three. Wow. It is pretty much the seven on, second or less yeah, offense on, Cypher Jones. Big Nate to the rack. Oh, 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 I don't know. Fallon Abu Yarma. <laughs> Very interesting. Shout out Big Nate. Hey, the ref. <laughs> One man fast break. <laughs> Reckless to the rim. A lot of great comments right now. Some more people. Now, Got the shooter. Obviously, we're only three minutes in here, but Eli Ellis yet to score. I don't think he's ever not scored in the first minute of an OTE game, so this is very shocking. <laughs> you know, Davis has been following him everywhere on the court. Eli will find his rhythm and, and he'll get it going. 100%. 100%. 8-8 eight, eight here in the first quarter. So we have eight-minute quarters at OTE up until the fourth quarter. Where we have a 12-minute quarter. We want to see more crunch time action, so let's get to it a little bit faster. And then 12-minute fourth quarter. I have a feeling this one's going to be an all-important fourth quarter. Hey, Michigan down, Michigan down. Hey, shout out to Just Us Mosey. Doing a great job in the chat right now. Buck, Buck just asked about Cam Wilder. Where is Cam? Also coming from uh, JXR1 Batman. Cam's not in the building tonight, but obviously as the Eli owner of RWE's tuned in watching and maybe we'll, uh, we'll get to talk to him a little bit. I'm curious what he thinks about the matchup against the Ellis Brothers. He obviously coached the Ellis Brothers wow. Good call. in AAU earlier this season. Hey, bro. hey man, yo. Hey, Shout out to I, I'm, good with that. Well. I'm good with all of that. That's all Corey Fraser, coach of RWE that's... in your ear right now. Right. No, nah, but I'm saying they just grabbing though. They can't, they can't go so they're going to try to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> five, five, five out. I like this matchup. Isaac Ellis on Jaden. Draws a foul. Isaac grew up a lot. Oh, oh don't, don't, don't even get him started. Do not ask him about his height if you talk to him today. He came up to me before we even dapped up and said good morning. He said, I'm 6'1. And I was like, six what? One. He goes, the OT website has me listed at 5'10 or 5'11. I can't remember. And he was like, I'm 6'1. And then uh, he went and got measured again, downstairs by Basketball yeah. Ops, our, our crew that runs all these operations down here on the basketball side. Got measured. He is 6'1. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man, I'm, change I'm the, change the site. Change the numbers. Yeah. He's so upset. Yep. Him and Jaden are good friends, though. And, then, and I think it's cool to see them kind of match up go, against go. each other. Obviously, two of the, the better sophomores in the country. Let him know. Isaac, well, it matter. now 6 1. Hey, guard. You go to the, <laughs> from Hickory, uh, wing, North Carolina. Have the point. Hey, two face here, two face. Face. You hear me? There you are. You got the point. You got it, Kenny. Excuse me. Who's taking, it's actually taking the ball Isaac's out. A sophomore. Stop, stop, stop. So, Tom, the YNG Dreamers face, face. last year were one of the teams down here in Atlanta. Now they're up in North Carolina. Talk about that move. Well, the Ellis brothers wanted to go home. And uh, Eli wanted to go back and play for his dad. I think he wanted his own team, right? The City Reapers were never going to feel like Eli's team after he played with the Thompson Twins for a whole season. And knowing that Ja'Kai and Big Ja were coming back and Bryson Tiller. He wanted his own team. He said, I want the pressure. So he took the Dreamers back to North Carolina, teamed up with his brother, teamed up with his dad. And his family business, as everyone knows with them, is Carter Knox. Oh, jeez. got a pile of bottles on the floor. Right um, and I love it. I don't know about the yellow and the Ellis brothers and that, and that combo, but uh, everything else looks good. We saw Carter Knox, another mid-range jumper. He's just got, he has a pro bag, Tom. Yeah, I mean, people have been saying Anthony Edwards, a lot of different comparisons for him, but I just know he's gonna score at all times. Even when he's not playing well, you're like, oh, he has 20 as he turns the ball over. And here comes Eli on the fast break. Yeah. Off the mark. I was pretty shocked he didn't get that up. J-Jack, looking for his. Oh, no foul on that is crazy. Look, he held him in the air. And I don't know why, why the Dreamers touched that. That was about to be their ball. Let's take a look at Carter Knox here. Sniper, does that remind you of the truth? Nah, it's more at hey, I, I, I coined it earlier. I don't know if it's going to stick, but the boy got an Anthony Edwards game. Mm. Anthony Edwards, A.E. A.E. I see it. I see it. 
I believe he's wearing Anthony Edwards shoes as well tonight. Not only the James Harden oh, Martin seven. My bad, my bad. Both Adidas great, great kicks. My great, great, great shoe. In my opinion, one of the most popular Adidas sneakers. Knox with six points on three mid-range jumpers, and he is feeling it here in the first quarter. Eli. Spins oh, twice. he is making him work. Yes, sir. He is making Going him work. off the bench with a big dunk. He's got his college commitment coming up very soon. Probably in the next week or so, we're going to find out where Darion is going to commit. And some college is going to be very happy. Do you have any insider information? I do. Oh. As big dunk, Lewis hits a three. Uh, he's down to a few different schools. I think uh, Michigan's on the list. I think Georgia Tech's on the list. I do, I do not have a final for you, though. I, I can't tell you. I like, I, I like Michigan. I wouldn't be surprised. He's also gotten offers from Ohio State, Kansas Jayhawks, our very own Sniper Jones will be quick to tell you he wants everyone to go and play <laughs> in Columbus. It, it, it's something about, you know, he took some photos of his Michigan visit. As much as it hurts me, oh, it looks like he had too much of a good time. Oh, beautiful. From Davis to Knox with the touch pass back to Davis and a five-point lead for RWE here in the first quarter. A little out of sorts here in his return. He finally saw that he got Davis off him and he was so anxious to get a shot up that it was a little too quick. Knox off the front of the rim. Oh, big Don Lewis. Lewis. Turns it off. I like his game. I'm not going to lie. He looks quick. I like his game. I see the AE coming out. I see the, I see the AE coming out with the bump. You know, without Samto, Carter Knox is coming out aggressive here in the first quarter, looking to shoot a lot. You see the three there by Davis and no look pass from Sutton. Hey, shout out to Jared Thorne, man. I love you too. Appreciate you very, very much. Finish, fishing AJ, hello. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, if you want the best and the newest OT gear, head to shop.overtime.tv or scan the QR code on your screen. Quick, quick, quick. I know you have your phone in your hand for all the latest collections. I've got the the O classic hoodie right now. Always, always. You I'm have always the classic T on right now. Yeah. I don't even, I've never even seen that shirt that I'm that released, man. I'm, 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 I'm plugged in. Uh, this plugged will, in. This is going to be the last time you see me in a classic for a while. Because after this weekend, I'm picking a team and I'm starting to wear their gear. I'm leaving nah, RWE. Great. RWE has great merch. Oh. So I'd definitely consider that. Don Lewis putting oh. him on skates. Whoever wins this game, I might start wearing their gear. Rebound from Yarma. Yarma third in the league in rebounds per game with 10. The 6-6 forward from Roanoke, Virginia. And the Dreamers giving Eli Ellis a little break here. See if Isaac and the crew can, uh, can generate some offense with, uh, without their main score. See a foul on Carter Knox. And Tom, oh. you hear the buzzer. What does that mean, Tom? That means it is time for the Big bonus. For anyone who doesn't know, obviously you probably grew up playing basketball. You're playing right now. When there's a foul limit, usually you have one on one, you have one on one, you have free throws. We took that out. We said instead of free throws, let's have a big bonus. Let's have a five on four fast break opportunity where we get to see these athletes and these players make quick decisions, be a little bit more in the mix on the basketball side. So you're gonna get a five on four fast break here instead of free throws, and we'll see if the YNG Dreamers can connect on a quick bucket. A lot of times this ends in a quick three or on the point guard getting right to the rim. I have a feeling the Dreamers are going to shoot a three here. I'm going to say Don Lewis three. That's what I'm going to say. Big 32. Pass it to Isaac. Deep three. Yeah, a big bonus is a nightmare for RWE right now. OTE splash bros. The OTE splash bros. Knox way too open. Can't leave that man open, Sniper Jones. Definitely can. As you guys know, the best scorer here in OTE at the right now. Isaac, again, oh. off the mark. Get back, get Sutton with the board. Spins. Big Nate. Big Nate. <laughs> so RWE's up seven right now. 
I'm curious what Cam Wilder thinks about how his team is doing. If you were Cam, you know, owner of the squad, what would you think? I would be happy with it because right now, arguably a top three player in the league, Sabto, yep. isn't playing. He didn't play their last game and they still got the win. They're looking good without him. I think you have to feel good about RWB because if you're winning without arguably your best, if not your best, your second best player, yeah, I'd feel good. Yeah, How about you? I think you gotta feel good. You got Eli at zero points right now, and I think that's really important for him, and he's he's gonna be curious about that. Um, for the chat, if you had questions for Cam, if you had, if you were able to ask Cam someone, what would what would you ask him? Hopefully, we'll be able to ask him some questions at some point. He's always stopping by OT games, jumping in the chat. Um, so if you have any questions for Cam Wilder, please throw them in the chat whenever you can. You mentioned Eli has no points. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and say he still finishes with over 20 points in this game. I don't know, man. Yep. You heard it here first. See, this is when he has to score, right? So Davis is taking a break, so they put on the six foot nine, six foot ten Darian Sutton to give him some length. Oh, good luck. Extra pass. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna agree with Tom. The game plan it looks like from RWE is to make anybody else score outside of Eli Ellis. So I don't know if he's gonna have a big game because they're they kind of concentrate the entire defense around. Him. Right. Big no! <laughs> Reckless abandonment. That was though. amazing. He look angry. Oh, why you can't do that, Eli? Oh, no foul. It's no crazy. foul. Knox going the other way. Oh. Take a picture of it. Eli's not going to get a more open shot than that. Carter knocks the big Two finish. seconds, throws it up. Off the backboard. RWE with a seven point lead after one. Holding Eli to no points. Take another look at this crazy poster attempt from Big Nate. Entertaining first quarter. Don't go anywhere. More OT action coming up next. So yeah, lemon lime Gatorade, or we usually just call it yellow. Yellow Gatorade is definitely my favorite Gatorade in four games. One of my favorite things this year has been the Strictly rankings, and it's made a lot of people angry online, but one person that hasn't made angry is our very own Overtime Tom. I did not make these rankings. This is made by Strictly B-Ball, a huge TikTok account. Shout out to Nolan and Joe who made these rankings. But look, RWE 1 and 2, sitting at the number 2 seed. The Dreamers being 2 and 0 at 3. I I'm not obsessed with that, but you know who I'm going to ask who what his thoughts are? We got our very own Cam Wilder who's going to join us right now. Cam, man. Cam. Wow, RWE gear on and everything. What, what do you think about the rankings, Cam? And how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing, doing good. good. How are you guys, how are you guys doing? doing? Having a little trouble hearing Cam. <laughs> the RWE yeah, hoodie looks now. amazing. The, the, the RWE hoodie looks good. <laughs> Cam's doing well. I'm sure he's happy about the. I'm sure he's okay with the, ha the power rankings being number two. Cam, if you can hear us, what do you think of the power rankings by Strictly? Um, RWE is They are a little bit crazy. Eli, no look pass. What a travel on Eli. I don't know about that. Yeah, that was very questionable. Cam, I don't know if you, if you can still hear us, but you obviously coached Eli Ellis over the summer with RWE. He played for you before he was playing out here for the Dreamers as Lincoln Cosby hits a three. Cam, what are your thoughts on Eli's game? He's got zero points right now, man. Uh, Eli's kind of mid. Me personally, uh, he was kind of mid, especially against us. But um, on, during the summer, though, when he played with us, he was a great player. But on the Dreamers, he's mid. <laughs> Come on, Eli, mid is very fair, as, especially as he's averaging 37 points per game, which is, which is very good. Um, Cam, you got you got a lot of questions in the chat for you. A lot of people want to know where you're going to be this summer. A lot of different questions like that. They want to know who is your favorite player on RWE right now. Who's your favorite player on the squad? Mm, great question, Tom. So we're going to cancel out Romello because I said Romello too much. <laughs> I'm going to probably say I like J-Jack just because he played with me the most this summer. J-Jack is a very fair answer. Very he's a great fair. guy. He, he, well, he's an okay guy. 
Speaking of OK Guys, Nelson, you guys just launched the, uh, launched the uh, Pancake Pod. You and Nelson talking to RWE, talking to OT. What are, what are your thoughts on Nelson? Where's he at tonight? I don't, really, I don't like him. I don't know where he's at. Uh, I could care less. I don't really like him. Woo! I don't like his hair. Oh, oh sudden. <laughs> They're in some way. You guys are up 10 right now on the Dreamers. Uh, is that about right? Do you think you should be up by more? What do you, what do you think about the Dreamers? I'm thinking a 20-piece could be right now. Mm. 10 is OK. I think if we keep Derry on in the game, he keeps taking to the ring, we'll be all right. Cam, um, a lot of people are saying you're their dad, by the way, Cam, in the chat, just so you know. Just wanted you yeah, know. I'm nobody's father. Okay. <laughs> you are not the father. Cam, uh, what do you like most about Daquan Davis? Because we were talking about him a lot, and right now he's shutting down Eli. This is defense for sure. I think he's a very unselfish teammate. He's not worried about scoring. He's worried about getting the win. As he gets a steal go right here. Anybody on the floor that he needs to. Now you guys started out this. You guys started out the season obviously one and two. You got you won your last game. You're looking pretty good right now. Uh, the last time I talked to you, I think you wanted to trade your whole team. But are you feeling a little bit better now? Yeah, honestly, um, I think I was just chatting. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna let it rock out. See how we play. I think we just need to get a little bit more chemistry and start getting serious. And we'll be all right. Yeah, but if you had to trade for someone, Jakai, Trey, Eli, you got a lot of options. Is there anyone that uh? You have your eye on just in case you had to. Like, like, what if you, you got four guys on the team? You need to trade for someone. Who, who, who can we look at? I'm already Evan. I like that. What do you think about him? Do you like his game? He'd be a good, a good addition. I like his defense and I like his energy. I think that's something we need. Isaac on the floor. Nice finish. Cam, last question for you, man. You guys hope we win this game tonight. You pull it two and two. Are you guys the number one team in all of OTE after that? I think we stay at number two. City Reapers, until they lose, I think we stay at two. Quan Davis gives RWE a 12-point lead. Cam, we appreciate you joining us, my guy. Thank you, guys. You guys look great on the broadcast, too. Oh, Cam. 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 Making us blush. Go, RWE. Let's go, RWE. Come on, RWE. Pull it out for Cam. He clearly didn't hear that I picked uh, the dream. No, he did not. <laughs> he definitely doesn't know that. Cam, I'm riding with you in <laughs> RWE. Don't worry. Isaac for three. The Dreamers cannot be counted out, Sniper Jones. Remember, last year, I think they were down like 30 in the fourth quarter and came back in like fourth over. They're never out of a game with how many threes they can. A seven point lead for RWE. And uh, Crew Russo wants to know how many points does Eli have? Eli has zero points right now. They're only down seven. Isaac with 15. Yeah. Hey, man, it's a good brother. It's a really good brother. Isaac carrying the load here in the first half. We're almost halfway through the second quarter. That's Jay Jack at the top of the key. He played with RWE over the summer, as I'm sure you know. Hey, chat, real quick, who's your favorite player on RWE over the summer? And who's your favorite player on RWE right now? Ooh, ooh, that's a very good question. Oh, can I get my answer? <laughs> yeah, talk to me, Thomas. Uh, over the summer, wow, 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 wow. I mean, oh. no, it's Nelson. I mean, look, I love Trey and Ja'Kai when they went out there and played. I love Eli and Isaac, who were really the first big names to play. Um, Cam Scott is a name that a lot of people talk about. J-Jack was awesome, but like, Nelson being 14, coming in and hitting half-court shots, like he, he was the star of RWE 100%. So I'm, I'm gonna go with Cam. Uh, I'm gonna go with Nelson as my favorite AAU RWE player. I like that. Is that fair? I like that. I feel like people won't like that. Who's everyone else's favorite? We gotta know. I'm gonna go with Romello, and then on this current team, I like Romello. I'm gonna go. I, you know, we were talking about him before, but I'm gonna go with Quan Davis. That feels like someone that. I would want to play alongside where, where where he is always finding the open man and his defense. We got Eshan says LeVar, Von World says Nelson, uh, Courtney says J-Jack, uh, Nari the Phantom says J-Jack. A lot of J-Jack fans here. Jason Sobrano says Trey Parker. I'm a J-Jack fan. I, I like him as well. Lincoln Cosby and one. Hey, this might be Lincoln Cosby's little coming out party here. He's got five points, the freshman, the number two ranked freshman in the whole entire country. Number 13, Lincoln Cosby, a phenom, if I've ever seen one. Take another look. Pretty finish with the left. 
I mean, Lingen's behind a star, a star side team, of course. OTE basketball will be back on Prime Video tomorrow. Kansas commit Rakeez Passmore, who we just saw, and the Blue Checks visit the O to take on the best score in the nation, Carter Knox. Tune in December 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern to watch it all go down only on Prime Video. You know, I got distracted during that read there. Bro, bro he's going to go for 40. Isaac I need Ellis. a 40 ball from Isaac that Ellis. Was, that was Stephen Curry 2018 floater, the one that hit the top of the roof and come down. That was a rainbow if I've ever seen one. I was in the middle of doing that read, and I just got completely distracted. I mean, he's got 17 of their 30 points. Look at this. High over Carter Knox. I just want to say a soft. Oh, my God. That was wow. insane. YNG Dreamers, post that on Instagram right now. We need some slow-mo, maybe a little Steph Curry sound on TikTok. That was insane. The social media manager that is. Sorry, my bad. Overtime my bad. Um, <laughs> is still running the show from the booth. <laughs> we got big bonus time. Knox to Davis. Oh, oh the finish in traffic. A man amongst boys. Flex on him. Hit the quad. The soundboard goes crazy at the O, Tom. Speaking of Quan, we got OT7 Kwani in the building. Rapper came out with the Dreamers, though. So he's repping Dreamers tonight. Loves Eli and Isaac. But uh, we got a lot of Quans in the building. Now, did OT7 Kwani steal the name it, from they, OT7? They, 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 he did not. He's been OT7 Kwani. It's just a coincidence. Cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> now you got Quan Davis out here at the line. Now he is not committed to a college yet. The 2024 prospect, a senior out of Baltimore, who, he, who is literally like Chris Paul on the floor here. He's talking, to, right now he's trying to figure out what happened with the scorer's table. He's gonna talk to Coach Frazier, he's gonna talk to Eli, he's gonna talk to us, he came over and talked to us before the game, talking at all times. So what happened there is, he got fouled on an N1 during a big bonus. So I believe that should have been an automatic three points if I'm not mistaken. They gave him the bucket, RWE is now up 11. Isaac, oh, hurt his elbow. Left hurt his elbow. Oh, we, I think he's fine. He's, we'll be going to the line for two shots. I think he might be going for 40. I think Tom is right. This dude is, he's going to need at least 40. Listen, I think it's simple. If the game plan is stop Eli, then force Isaac. At this point, somebody going to eat. Isaac up to 17. I got to know in the chat, who's your favorite Ellis brother, Eli or Isaac? Now, don't tell them I asked that question, but we got to know. Throw your, throw your name in the chat, Eli or Isaac. I think it's going to be closer than we think. I wish I got a chance to play with my brother. That's the coolest thing in the world. We play together all the time in pickup. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> Isaac Ellis, point counter up to 18. Carter Knox throws it up. Gets his own board and finishes and the foul, just as they drew it up, Sniper Jones. <laughs> hey, listen, I would accuse him of patting the stats, but I don't know if that's a rebound or not, so I'm going to keep it to myself. <laughs> that was smooth. It was smooth. Take another look here, Tom. Meanwhile, Carter's up to 15 points as well. If someone doesn't score 40 tonight, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> nice finish in traffic by Carter Knox. Hey, first half action is coming to a close, but don't you worry. We got the OTE halftime show with Sniper and Tom coming up next. Highlights, locker room access, and a behind the scenes look at City Reapers Media Day with Amari Evans. Stick with us, do not go anywhere. We still have three minutes left in the first half. Entertaining first half, because we got to travel on Isaac Ellis. See, I, I think Eli now is like, he's got to shoot that that three, even though he has a hand in his face, the second Quan comes off him, I want I want to see him fire that out. I don't know. I, I like him not settling, keeping him honest. I think well, I know. know you can shoot the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm overruled. Damn, I'm overruled, man. Uh, oh, I, I think I think the official got that one wrong there in the backcourt. Hey, tell him he's coming over here right now. Yeah, I thought that ball got tipped, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, 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 oh. Got it, go, go, go. Bolo. Lewis. Kicks it. Abu. Oh, wow. Abu Yarma. No, they've done it twice. They've done it twice. They ran with the ball. They've done it twice. Tom, how many times have they done it? No, they've, they've done, done it twice. They ran with the ball. At least twice. Unbelievable. That's up. Man, this is crazy. 
crazy. He ran away with the ball. Nice little oh. corner three here. Coach Jeremy Ellis always bringing the passion. Nice job, nice job. We're good. Always bringing the energy and always talking to the refs. Always. Hot, hot, hot. Talking to the refs. Uh, what do you think about a fan hot. having their flashlight on filming this game? Don't I think love flashlight that. Flashlight is a no go. Don't love got that. Great lighting here. Quan, hit me. Quan Davis graphic, graphic. from deep behind the arc. And this is why I say he's one of the most underrated scorers here, averaging 18 points. But he's so known for his defense, he can great get pass. overlooked. Great pass by Isaac, Isaac the Big Don. But you're 100 percent right, Snipe. Oh, he, he got, got teed up. Here. Oh, I don't. Nah, that was soft on. as hell. That was a Mr. soft. Mr. Ref, Mr. Ref, Mr. Ref. Soft technical. Let's take another Number look five, here. I know, but you watch five, two, so. <laughs> yep. you watch five, two, I don't think that's a tech. I think that's a warning. He knocked the ball out of Carter's hands. Uh, I think that's a warning. I, I, I'm going to rescind. Would you disagree, uh, OTE you disagree becoming the softest right? league in America. It, we, you know, OTE needs have to adopt some OT7. <laughs> 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 uh, ball don't lie. Carter misses the free throw, and I, and I love to see it. But hey, we keep talking about Quan. Obviously, he, he's not committed right now. He was committed to his score earlier. Now, I can't imagine. I have to imagine he's one of the most coveted recruits in all of basketball when he right runs now. Away with Any the ball. college against him is getting a leader. I got you, I got you. My Let's see where he ends up. Nah, she's daylight rejected oh, there you go. by Yarma. Ellis Brothers on the run. Wilson. Kicks. Man. Eli couldn't handle it. Davis right going the other way. Stutters to the rack. Oh. Oh. Jay Jack, Jay, Jay Jack. Jay Jack. Why Kendrick? Why? And that's why Jay Jack is a favorite. <laughs> yep. Come out, come out, come out. Why Kendrick? Why? Evan, Evan. Evan, big Kendrick ass. Why? Go it there. <laughs> Man, Coach Ellis is not happy. Hey, Tom, let's learn a little bit more about Daquan Davis. All Hoopers need to take notes from Daquan Davis. He's everything a coach wants. He takes pride in playing defense. He's a vocal leader on the court, and he plays with 200% effort at all times, which comes as no surprise considering he's from Baltimore, Maryland. But don't think he can't get you a bucket. He's averaging 14 points per game in the OTE preseason, and after showing out during the preseason, he decided to reopen his recruitment and decommit from Providence. So to whichever school lands Daquan, congratulations, because you just got the ultimate floor general. Tom, we talk so much about his defense, and I really want to talk about his offense because he's an underrated scorer. But right now, he's holding Eli Ellis to no points. And that we just have to talk about that. I know he has 12 points, but the defense is stealing the show, and it's been the difference for RWE. I mean, a lot of times when, you, when you're matched up against the toughest player on a team, you're not able to focus on offense. Also, he's doing both 12 points, four assists, but the defense is insane. And I think, look, he hears, he's on Instagram. He, like, always is answering my DM faster than anyone. He sees all the talk about how Eli's averaging 37. In, best shooter in OTE, all these different things. And he's like, look, I'm a senior on the best team in all of OTE, and I'm a point guard and the best defensive player here. Why is no one giving me respect? So I'm sure he took it personally, and it's so far so good. Quan has looked great this year, but this really feels like a coming out party so far in this first half, as RWE holds on to a 13-point lead with a minute left. They're looking to add on here. Yeah, Dreamer's got to try to get this under 10, get a stop here, maybe hit a three. You could not tell me at the beginning of this game that Eli Ellis would be going to half with zero points. Amazing job defensively by RWE. Jay Jack. Wow. Wow. Up to 16 for RWE. And they have all the momentum right now. Isaac, top of the key. That. Front of the rim. That'll be a foul on Evan Morton. Hudson, the, oh, go ahead. The, the Evan Morton, the East Stroudsburg commit. Oh, there you go. Didn't right? think we'd have one of those in a, in a minute. Deep in my bag. Uh, Hudson Klusner wants to know if Santo is senior. He is. He'll be going to Kentucky next season. Uh, Cash Bigot says the refs are terrible. Fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pete Power Xavier Sauer says OT is his favorite. Love that. OKC fan holding a 37 point per game score to zero is crazy. Quan, floater. Great. Great wow. finish. I'm glad I picked RWE, fellas. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, what? You, just gotta, you just gotta follow me. I will show you the light, Sniper Jones. Nah. 
Now RWE all the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eli deep front of the rim. Lewis steps out of bounds. Four seconds left. J Jack. Quan Davis, two seconds. Goes it if up. He hits that. Oh. And RWE goes up by 18 to end the first half. Tom, I couldn't have seen this coming. And I picked RWE, but I did not see an 18-point lead at halftime. I thought RWE could come out and dominate, right? They have a lot more size on the Dreamers. They're coming off of a good win, but I did not see them holding Eli Ellis at zero points. I mean, it's almost close considering that. We're now joined by Quan Davis. Quan, great first half. What was going right for you guys in that first half to have an 18-point lead at halftime? I feel like we was hitting shots when we needed them. We were playing great defense. We were sticking together. Talk about the pride you take in your defense. Right now, you're holding Eli to zero points. I take a lot of pride on my defense. I know a lot of people gas this match up, up, so I'm taking advantage of it. Now, when you're really focusing on defense, a lot of players go kind of quiet on offense. Right now, you have 14 points in the first half. How locked in do you feel on that side of the floor? I mean, I'm just hitting over shots. They swinging the ball. I'm being able to knock it down. Quan, good luck in the second half. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you. That's Quan Davis with 14 first half points, holding Eli to no points. Hey, if you think RWE is going to run away with this, you're crazy. YNG Dreamers. They'll be coming back in the second half. Stick with us for the OTE Halftime Show. Overtime Tom, Sniper Jones bringing you all the action coming up next. RWE up 54-36 at half. Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina, North Carolina, Washington, uh, California, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, uh, Nevada, Texas, uh, New Mexico, Arizona. Welcome back to the OTE halftime. We just seen an amazing half of basketball. Tom, what do you think about that first half? I'm pretty speechless, honestly. Like watching Daquan Davis methodically just crush Eli Ellis has been unbelievable. We keep talking about it, but Daquan having 14 points, Eli having zero. The Dreamers being in the game up until like those last couple minutes, Isaac Ellis really shouldering the load. It was a good first half, but it if the Dreamers want any chance here, Eli's going to have to flip a switch. Not only is Eli going to have to be engaged, I feel like Coach got to draw him up something. They trapping him every time he gets the ball off a pick and roll situation. So I can't really even say it's because of lack of effort. He just hasn't been getting a chance to get open looks. As you mentioned, Carter Knox, but more importantly, Daquan Davis is doing it on both ends of the ball. Guarding their best player, but still contributing a lot on the offensive end, Tom. Totally. And then look, there was a lot of three-point shooting in that first half. I don't know how many they made. It felt like a billion. You saw Big Don Lewis, you saw Jason Jackson. But Carter Knox with his mid-range game, we talked about it a little bit. I don't know if I've ever seen a high school basketball player be able to hit mid-range shots like that. So he started it. Daquan's leadership brought us over the top. And they've looked better and better every single game this season. Starting out 0-2, losing Sampo, and now winning their last game in the City Reapers and looking great tonight. Absolutely. And one of the guys that you actually mentioned was Carter Knox, one of the players who like to have fun on and off the court. Let's get to know Carter Knox a little bit more. Media day pretty good. You know, getting a taste of what NBA photo shoots going to be like, you know, college photo shoots. It's really good. You know, it's my first time doing one, really. And everything going pretty good so far, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You jumped out of the thing. Uh, Hello, Romello. 
being in front of the camera, you know, I'm pretty used to it by now. You know, back in Tampa, I used to have camera, camera people following me left and right. So it ain't nothing new to me. So it's just another day in the office, really. I took a couple of naps, you know what I mean? You know, restore my energy. I felt energized. Uh, sorry to wake you. Ah, I messed up. Why don't you give me a flex? Oh, you do some push ups. You good? <laughs> Get the pump in real quick. It's not tough to balance everything, you know. Um, you know, you just gotta really stay locked in. You know, when you're on that court, you know, you're thinking of one thing only, and that's really just making it to the next lead, the next, uh, the next level. It's not really balanced, but it's going pretty good. Favorite part of media day was the. Uh, Playing the games, the cap, the no cap, all that, playing the game and the stuff. And I was really good. I really liked that game, so it was very enjoyable. Cap or no cap, TikTok is better than Instagram. Cap, Instagram on top. They got the reels. The reels are mad funny. Carter and Knox have been going crazy. As you mentioned, he got the mid range game, he got the outside game. I coined the phrase five. Level score, not a three level, five level score. I just like every game, it feels like he brings a new thing, right? Like sometimes he's shooting three, sometimes he's getting to the rim, sometimes he's getting out on fast break. Tonight, we're all about the mid range so far, and he looks so calm. It looks like people talk about Kevin Durant when he's scoring that it feels like no one's defending him, like he doesn't even see them. It feels like Carter Knox is that way sometimes. It feels like he doesn't notice a defender, he can just make his moves the way he wants to at all times. I literally watched him in the King of the Court go three rounds without yeah. missing a single shot. This guy can literally score at all levels, and he's one of my favorite players to watch here at OTE. So fun. I, I think Cam Wilder is pretty happy that he has him on the team. We got the chat going right now. If you have questions, please throw them in here. But also, big shout out to our Kaylee Hammond, KJ's sister, our producer. Happy birthday. It's the best. Absolutely. Let's toss to YNG's locker room and see how they play in a slow car to knock down. Can't let the if they initiate contact. This is these are five stars, bro. Yeah. Like if they initiate contact, listen to me. I'm not trying. I'm not mad at you. I'm just telling you, if you let them come into you, it's it's 230 pounds against 180. You know what I'm saying? And like you just got to step in and 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 then we got to help. We got to help the helper. When that guy comes over and tries to contest, we got to help that man. Will great minutes, great minutes. Good job, Abu. Good way to shoot it. I mean they're shooting nine, they're shooting 63 percent. 57% from three. I mean, whew. we've got 10 turnovers. 10 turnovers. Yeah, we've stepped out of bounds like five times. Come on. Couple Eli, you're 0 for three. Don, four for five. Abu, three for five. Isaac, five for 11. Rebounds. Isaac, two. Don, three. Abu, two. You thought you got a rebound, you got one. Will got two, big ones, Ty got one. And you hear coach, he's basically saying, listen, RWE doesn't usually shoot this well from three, but today they knocking it down. And of course he got to talk to Eli. You having a slow start, so I'm looking forward to him coming out and maybe getting some open looks on What do you think? What do you think that comment, like it's a little bit harder when your coach is your dad. You think Eli is like, dad, leave me alone. Like how does that work? Um, yes, of course I think Eli's gonna get more open shots. He turned the ball over a couple of times early. I think that kind of slowed him down. He's gonna have to force some shots here. He's gonna have to like, he's gotta get one, maybe get to the rim a little bit since his outside shot isn't working. He hasn't been able to get something off. Can he get to the foul line, get a little rhythm here to start the quarter? We've been talking a lot about Eli quickly. His brother Isaac is balling. Let's see what the chat got to say. Chat, do y'all have anything to say about Isaac Ellis right now? Cause he's going crazy. A lot of people are asking a lot of things in the chat. I think one of the biggest questions they want to know. So we have Prince A1, he says, bring Dylan Harbor back. Shout out to the Rutgers <laughs> committee who came out here. Someone asked how many does Eli have? He has zero points right now. Which is crazy. Um, Eli Banks wants to know how, many, how much do you think RWE will win the game by? How, many, how much do you think RWE is going to win the game by? I got Dreamers winning the game. The Dreamers are going to come back and win by a three. All so. right, guys. <laughs> do not go nowhere. More basketball right after this. See you soon.
Mm, okay. I say it's not cap because my TikTok is doing better than my Instagram. That's tough. Depends on what you're trying to, you know, grit them for. Cap. Cap. Instagram on top. They got them reels. Instagram is actually like, this is a true app. TikTok is fake. TikTok is good for reaching a new audience, like, you know, reaching people. But Instagram is for, you know, bougie people. Welcome back to OTE Arena. I'm Alex Overtime Day, joined by Overtime Tom. Tom, Daquan Davis has taken Eli Ellis out of this game. Shocking, he has zero points. You know that the Dreamers are going to come back and get involved in this game. How are they going to do it, though? Uh, Eli, look, this is me and you talking right now, man. Okay, you got zero points right now. You're the leading scorer with 37 a game. You got this. Okay, I have faith in you. You are going to be the person that brings this team back. Isaac can hit some more shots. I still think Isaac can drop a cool 30. We need Eli to get, get going here. Get going early and quick. Can we cut this to like an 8 to 10 point game going into the fourth? That's what we need to do. You're not going to get it all back early. 18 point lead right now for RWE. Look, this team wants to shoot 53s a game. <laughs> Let me see how many they've got so far. They, I bet you they've shot a lot. Um, I don't know if they shot 50 yet, though. I mean, the same way that they went into this game, I feel like they've just got to continue it and try to get some better looks. But you know that they live and die with a three ball. So look for a lot more of that, especially now that they're down 18. How many have they taken? They took 17 in that first half. Seven of 17. So let's take some more. Like, can we get 60 up? How many threes can we possibly? No, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. And here's guys, what we do. And guys, I know we feel pull up, pull up, to shoot. Pull up. Oh, that's all him. Oh, we up. We up. Let's there go, go, Eli. Hey, if I'm the coach, if not Eli has to shoot more, we have to get him open. Right? Facts. So it's like, if he's not getting open, you gotta draw some plays, right? Some diversions. You gotta, you gotta create some opportunities for him if you can't get him for yourself. And I get why they're sticking in the zone, especially because the Ellis brothers have to play so many minutes. But at some point, when you're giving up 54 points and a half, you're gonna have to switch the man. But so far, we'll stick with this. There we go. Dreamers, man. Tom is fully. I'm full dreamer right mode. now. I'm full. Cam left. We know that Cam's gone. Don't think he's listening anymore. I'm full dreamer now. You know, now that the Dreamers are North Carolina, Sniper, do you think it's fitting that, you know, Dreamville is based in North Carolina and the Dream Oh, yeah! Are in North Carolina, Sniper? <laughs> oh, he's too busy having a conversation over there at the end of the bench. Eli with a quick five points, using the muscle that he's been working on all off season to get a quick one going. At six foot one. Oh, that's a bad matchup down there. Big oh, there we go! Off the rim. Go, Eli. This is how they have to get buckets. Go quick. A quick 5-0 run by the Dream right to the rim. Up the second half. Oh, okay. All right, I like the aggressiveness, though. I like the idea. You know, they've been doing a good job of mixing up coverages, right? You get taller guys on them. Yes. You get aggressive guys on them. I like that. They had Darian Sutton on them for a little bit. Now they back to Daquan Davis. I don't. Eli. Come Ooh. on. Come on. Get Brown up on him. He's got eight. Eli Ellis is starting to percolate. Ooh. That's the last thing RWE needs is for that man to wake up right now. A couple open looks, and Eli has caught on fire. And we got a wild chance. Let's that listen quick. into their huddle. Actually, first, let's check out Bevel's pregame game day cuts. Man, your hair is dope. How long you been growing? Two and a half years. Really? What inspired you to grow your hair? I just like trying new things. So I cut it short and then I just let it go back out. Describe your game, like in one word. Facilitator. And who would you say like your game resembles? Got a little bit of AI in it. Okay. A little bit of Chris Paul. Nasty, all right, bet. Your bounce is crazy. Where you learn how to jump like that? To be honest, it was all natural. Like, I was the first one to touch the net in my class, first one to touch the rim, first one to dunk. So I was always just naturally bouncy. So take me through, like, pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is sleeping. No music, no none of that. I just go to sleep. OK, bad. So like, on your game days, after your face wash, make sure that you grab this exfoliating pad. Exfoliate, that way it breaks down the dirt, the oil. 
That's like trapped in your skin. Yeah. All right, my guy. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Hey, man, we love Ramel. And honestly, the whole chat is obsessed with Ramel. Charlie Morris has put in Rome. A bunch of people have been talking about him the whole entire game. Ramelo Hill, one of the most athletic people I've ever seen. At about 5'7", 5'8", he's able to win those. He's able to dunk. He's able to do a lot of different things. He's got a great cut shot to bevel. Um, but meanwhile, Dreamer just got another stop right out of the timeout. An 8-0 run on the offensive end for the Dreamers. And the zone, which they were in a lot in the first half, is giving RWE some issues. We have a foul here. A lot of delay of games, I think. And shout out to not just our YouTube audience, but everyone that's watching this game on TikTok, Instagram. We're live everywhere. I know right now we got a few chats in uh, on TikTok. Trayski wants to know when Melo's getting in. Hopefully soon, man. Hey, Mello's chat, chat. Let me know what city you're watching in right now. What town? What ran I want to hear some random towns. South Salem, New York. South Salem, New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So random. So random. <laughs> That's Quan Davis to Carter Knox. Another stop. That's Brandon Crawford, who's entered the game for RWE. Ooh. Step back. Oh. Off the front of the rim. Oh, That's a good look. This place like was ready to pop if he hit that. Quan to the rim. He'll go to the line for two. I like Don Lewis being like, what? I jumped straight up. What did I do? What did I do? I'm so disappointed. In Listen, with a nickname like Boat Low, we can never call him Don Lewis again. That might be the best nickname known to me. Hey, Tom. Do you want more basketball? I need it. I need it. Well, we got another doubleheader tomorrow night. Rakees Passmore and the Blue Check square off against Carter Knox and RWE on Prime Video before the YNG Dreamers and Eli and Isaac Ellis host their best friend Bryson Tiller and the City Reapers on YouTube. All begins tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. It'll be me, Tom, and Sniper on the call. Can't wait. Best Friday night of your life, guaranteed, or your money back. Can't wait. I will Venmo you $5 if it's not the best night of your life. Wow. Yeah. Can I just get $5? Or actually, you know what? I'll cash out you $5. Bucks, of course. Hit my Venmo. Kicks, Isaac, Eli, to the rim, mid-range. Quan Davis with the rebound. RWE pushing the pace. Looking for his dishes. Crawford back out. Knox front of the rim. Oh, give it up. Finish that. Eli, easy lay. There you go. Oh, it's oh, the back in. Oh, oh, hey. oh my god. And Eli Ellis is fired up top. I don't blame him. Ten quick points in under four minutes. Getting to the line here. We know he's gonna make both of these. He I has not he missed a free throw on the year, which means he'll probably miss one now yeah, that we just said that. The, hell the famous out. announcer jinx every time. Oh, by the way, here's where everyone's from while we while we watch him shoot these, okay? True is from Winston, Salem, North oh, Carolina. Oh, shout out Winston, 919. Uh, Mundo's right, from Pawtucket, uh, Tampa, JoJo Jane, JoJo Games, I'm sorry. Uh, Emily, shout out to Emily from Sacramento. Ooh. El Paso from John Paul. El Paso. Noble Thwe says Indiana. Are we sure that's not Maddie Sells? We got someone from Kenya. Skens is working, is watching no from way. Nairobi, Kenya. So that's worldwide. Sick. This game is worldwide right now. He made both. Eli made both. knocks yeah, down yeah. both. You can't jinx that man. Yeah, he, he, he's not going to be happy with me for saying that. <laughs> YNG cuts it to seven. How much are they down at the half? 18? They were down 18 at the half. Sudden with the ball, four seconds left on the shot clock. Ooh, Ooh turns over, go, go, Crawford. go, go, go. Crawford was not expecting that pass at all. Eli. Oh, oh, oh. The handles, now you gotta spins, fade oh, away. No. Oh, that's not I his shot. I was about shot. to say, that's, that's Kobe Bryant. That's Jack Cross. Pretty lay. I still need Jay to ask, Jack. why does J-Jack wear 99? We gotta find out. Yo, he might have the most effortless bounce. He said that's because it's a, he said that's his overall. Jeez. 
<laughs> I love that. Ooh, Burton. Ty Burton. Hey, Tom. Ty Burton has an offer from the school named Elon University. Oh, shout out to Elon. I know a lot of great people have been there. Who do you know? My friend. Well, actually, my sisters went there. Yeah, both your, <laughs> both your sisters went there. And, uh, and you went there as well. And I did go there. <laughs> Ty Burton, come on home. Come be a Phoenix, Ty Burton. Hit more threes like that. He looks exactly like an Elon Phoenix. Bro. Damn, that's hurtful. <laughs> I don't know too much about Elon, but the fact you two guys went there. I didn't go No, 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 no. no. I, I went there, and Tom's sisters both yeah. went there. It's like the prettiest campus ever, to be honest. It were? Yeah. Pretty uh, nice. Pretty nice. In the corner, Abu. Oh, Eli. <laughs> Just can't move. Yo, Eli is everywhere right now. And don't look now, but they only down eight points, fellas. Hey, after Eli went scoreless in the first quarter, let's see Jack Frost, Jake Jack. With the bucket. After Eli went scoreless in the first quarter, I said he'll still finish with over 20. Yeah, you were right. And then, <laughs> and then he had no points in the second quarter, and he's already up to 12 right now. Yeah, you were 100% right. You know who's also right? Charlie Sully, because it's his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow, Happy birthday. Charlie. And, of course, happy birthday to our very own Overtime Sam. Yes, of course. Now, Tom, YNG Dreamers were down 18 at half. How have they clawed back here in this third quarter? Uh, two words, Eli Ellis. Look unbelievable. We're checking out some YNG highlights here. It's been the Eli and Isaac Ellis brothers show. They're 2-0 and on the year, but they've won both their games down out in North Carolina. This is their first game out here in Atlanta playing against the RWE, who we love to see. But look, you're seeing it now. Eli Ellis, the leading scorer in the whole league. He can shoot it from anywhere. If you don't get a hand up, it's crazy. And I think one big thing that I forgot about is Coach Frazier, who's the head coach of RWE. He was the assistant coach of the City Reapers last year. So he actually coached Eli all season. If you watch the OTE doc, um, one shot, you actually hear Coach Frazier kind of hate on Eli a little bit, thinking that he was just a TikToker before he actually met him. And now he has a lot of respect for him. So you're seeing a great, great opportunity here. And Eli is up to, I think, 350,000 followers on Instagram, 750,000 followers on TikTok. He's based in, based in North Carolina. He's committed to South Carolina. He's awesome. The it. only player on the YNG Dreamers with a D1 offer, and they're still getting it done. Isaac's gonna get a bunch though. I, I feel good about that. Absolutely. Eli. And he'll go to the line for two. Tom, there's a third Ellis as well, right? I think there's a third and a fourth, actually. Uh, are there? I think there's four brothers, if I'm not mistaken. But Abe is really the one who we all talk about, who I believe will be the best Ellis brother. And and that's what Coach Ellis said as well. I love that. The youngest brother is always the best one. Is that Mellow Ball? Is that because you're the youngest brother? I'm the youngest. Lamelo Ball is the youngest of the Ball brothers, which you could argue Jello is, you know, the goat. But I'm gonna take Lamelo. Uh, the Newmans. Could you argue that? Yes, okay. Niles yeah. Newman, get, uh, lefty, get shooter, dropping shooter, about 80 shooter. a game. I love Nelson and Noah, but Niles yeah, 80 look a game is crazy. Um, and then I think you're gonna see with the Ellis is too. You see the little brother. I think the younger brother. I think he's in like fourth grade. He should be on the team. Shooter, next year. The YNG Dreamers are on a 17 to five run. run. Isaac, Just an score. unbelievable third quarter here. We have a six-point game, Thomas. What do you think about uh, hey, Coach Jamie Ellis giving we're Eli under. a quick break here? 13 straight I, points. I expect it to be a quick break. Yes. I mean, he's not even sitting down there. <laughs> if you look at Eli down there. Sudden. He's basically oh, on the court. Finish. And hey, Isaac obviously came out to a quick 18 points in the first half, but we haven't seen a lot from him. So let's see if he can uh, shoulder the load while his brother's out. Hey, I, I'll talk to Coach Frazier. Coach Frazier wants to explore the misburden of Darian Sutton being guarded by Ty Burns. Yes. Back and move back. He's bleeding. Dirty green, he's bleeding. Ty Burns got to be what, five foot seven. He's guarding uh, Darian Sutton. That's uh, not a great, great matchup for the Dreamers. Ty Burton is five foot eight. Lancaster, PA. Data. Carter Knox. Oh, that might be going the other way. And one. And one. Snipe, good call or bad call? Before we see the replay. That's a good that's a good call. I got a, I got a good look on the yeah, floor. Yeah, I was right gonna now. say you're down over there. Yeah, I got a good look on the floor. Oh, first that's the pretty finish. Ooh. Ow. Eli checking right back in. I think he sat out a total of game time 23 <laughs> seconds, or uh, less than 23 seconds. I think it was about 18 seconds. By the way, that was Will Hawkins from Alabama on finish. There you go.
Sean, if you just look at Eli right now, he's in one of those zones. Punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> those, those, two, those two have not spoken a word to each other. They are strictly business. Eli, favorable matchup here. Crossing over, dancing, prancing, oh, projected. Oh, I thought that was time. I did too. Quad kicks, big Nate with the finish. I think the refs have done a solid job though. Bro. I do too. I do too. RWE back up to a 10 point lead with 90 seconds left in this third quarter. That's Eli, way too much space. Say here, Isaac, the lefty. Same team. Great, 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 great on the board. boards right now. Oh, why don't Eli hit me? Eli Ellis. That's just hard work there. That's just them outworking RWE, getting multiple offensive rebounds with a much smaller team, and eventually find a wide open Eli Ellis to drain one. Number 15 is up to 17 on the game. All in this quarter. All in this quarter. Claude Davis. Since hey. you have some of that, I'll take some of this. We point guards, man. We might have to nickname Quan the answer. <laughs> Every time oh. something happens, oh. he got the answer for you. I love Eli, Isaac, to the rim. Oh. Hey, these guys are playing now. Like, this is, this is legit. Shout out to Xavier in the chat doing an awesome job keeping it active in here. Shout out to Xavier. Shout out to Xavier. Eight point game, 30 seconds left. Sutton, Dishes, Frost, Big Nate, back to J-Jack. Oh, great Off box out by Ty Burton down there. Shot clock turned off. Oh, Eli a little out of control. Oh, keep it? Loses oh, it. Oh, he Kevin gets it. Four seconds left. What a pass. Lance Frost with the finish. Ball. it back out to a 10-point lead. What a flurry of action in the final 90 seconds here, Tom. Daquan Davis is unbelievable. Like, gets the steal, gets the pass. Talking to his teammates, he, man. They're, all these guards are playing amazing, I love it. Back and forth action here at the O. You're not gonna wanna miss this fourth quarter. 10-point game, RWE YMG Dreamers. Don't go anywhere. I'm out of my game after JJ Reddit because, you know, he's a shooter, he likes to get around the court, and he played at my dream school. Hey, we gotta take this time to shout out the Adidas Six fan, Landon O'Hara from Avalon, New Jersey. Future Parker House resident, right, Tom? <laughs> Landon's play, Landon plays ball for Develop Hoops. His favorite NBA player is number 30, Steph Curry, the chef. And his favorite OTE players are Eli and Isaac. Landon, thank you for being a super fan of OTE. I think Sniper Jones is down there with Landon right now. Yes, Sniper. sir, I'm with him right now. Landon, are you enjoying the game tonight? Yes, it's very fun. Okay, now you play basketball, right? Out of all the players out here, who is your game most like? Eli Ellis. So you a shooter? Yeah. Okay, and your favorite NBA player is who? <laughs> Luka Doncic. Luka, I like Luka too. So right now, Eli Ellis, they're down. You think they're gonna get a chance to win this game? It's gonna be close, but I think Rod Waverly pulls it off. Oh, the upset. <laughs> Even though Eli's his favorite player, they're gonna get the upset. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the game, man, and thank you for pulling up. Oh. Back to you guys at the booth. The Th RWE here looks great. Thank you, Landon, our Adidas six fan of the game. Hey, I like that he's not biased like Tom, you know? <laughs> I am the most biased human. <laughs> Nobody is biased as day in the Knicks, bro. Uh, you're correct. <laughs> you are correct, but you know what? When you're, when you're bad, you're allowed to be biased. 
That's true. I'm a bias. I'm a Brian Brown fan. A little off the mark there for Will Hawkins. Jay Jack loses it, gets it back. Carter Knox to the rack. And he'll go to the line for two. Carter, kind of a quiet third quarter there, but starts obviously this fourth quarter, which is 12 minutes long. Reminder, the first three quarters are eight minutes each, but the fourth quarter is going to be 12 minutes because we want to get right to the action. Get right back, right to the crunch time. You know, um, sorry to interrupt you, Tom. Carter has 18, and you mentioned a quiet second half here. In that first quarter, he hit three mid-range jumpers back to back to back. I don't remember him taking one since then. Yeah, I don't want to even say that's defense. I think that's hard that we need to get him the ball in more spots. Hey, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt, but talk about scoring in the quarter. Eli Ellis scored 17 points in the third quarter. Nuts. Come on, man. How many minutes are you going to get here in the fourth quarter? I, can he do 17 again? He got I more think he time. Can. With four more minutes, I'm going to say he gets 20. And Eli and Quan are having a little conversation down here in the corner. I think about both of them pushing off when they're on offense. 10-point game here at OTE Arena. Polo. Hey! Don Lewis. He's, he's awesome. He has one of the prettier jumpers I've seen. I'm not going to lie. I might have a new favorite player. <laughs> Carter, Carter Knox. Oh, he doesn't miss that. Come on, on now. Come on now. Hey, chat. You're doing a great job in there. What did you guys eat for dinner tonight? I'm so hungry. I'm starving. So if you could let me know what you had in the chat, we'll shout some of you guys out, okay? Isaac. Tough. Don't go to the line for two. I, I am starving. I'm so hungry. The popcorn smell in here is insane. Take another look at the shot by Lewis. So Lewis, 6'6". He lost 50 pounds this year. Shout out Don Lewis. Well, Looks he, great. He, he is a big guard. He's got great hands. He's got great feet. He is a heck of a player. What's his nickname? <laughs> Dirt Road. I mean, so look, look, the, uh, the social room before was throwing out all kinds of nicknames, but they said Dirt Road was number one. <laughs> YNG Escalade. Oh, we got a lot of things coming in here quick with the, I mean, I can't even keep up with this. We got tacos, someone ate a burger, chicken wings, chicken quesadilla, watermelon, chum, I mean, everything. Shout out, you know, here, here Rob, I, I can't keep up. Good job, guys. Everything that you ate made me home. Great work. Oh, Andrew, you said candy? Um, oh, Andrew in the in the booth made us candy. Mm. We ate candy before this. What do we eat? Puppy chow? Uh, puppy chow. Yeah. Shout out to Andrew uh, on our on our production team whose wife made great food. Uh, so not shout out to Andrew. Yeah, I was gonna say. Shout out to his wife. Look, Andrew did a great job, uh, you know, with the delivery. But uh, you know, Andrew, yes. Andrew didn't make the puppy chow. <laughs> Xavier, shout out to you again, man. That was very kind of what you just put in the chat. Jose Rivera said he had some spaghetti. Wow. Which is very great. Meatballs? Meatballs? Um, I, I would crush something right now. Uh, Joshua Jones had some wings. Some people didn't eat dinner. Hey, respect. Me neither. Jonathan Schultz says hamburgers. Keep eating. As ham hamburgers. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Sudden with the finish. Yeah. How, how many burgers would you have in one sitting? Like a normal, like a fast food burger, or like a normal, like that, like throwing them on the grill. On the grill. I could go like a good seven. Seven? There's no way. No, nah, that's there's cap. no way. In another life, I'm a competitive eater, 100. <laughs> percent Wait, we talking about this life? <laughs> <laughs> this level, the OTE level. We see Sutton with nine points. 57 percent from the hey, field. Let's sit down and go right here. Is that, hey, is that the best OTE sport? Great switch it. Ooh, Darren, like get him to a side. We can, we can, we can. We can. The OTE Nathan's hot dog contest. Good. <laughs> so we good. Live. Stay, stay up. It's Coach Frazier in your ear right now. Switch it, switch it. Hi. The switch is interesting. Lewis. Keep going, keep going. Knox the other way. Oh, Lewis with a defensive play. Oh, hit that Eli. Eli in oh, his face. Oh. Too long. Oh, one more. Oh, shoot that. Eli passes on it. Oh. Takes it to the rim. Too, too strong. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. Get off my woman. Sudden. Dreamers got it. We have a jump ball, I believe. 
White, white, white ball. Hey man, we we ball. I think Sutton got hit in the card. mouth. Good sportsmanship there by Isaac Ellison. White squad. ball. That's such a tough shot, bro. White ball. Possession is white. White ball. White ball. some confusion on so, so here's what happened they forgot to switch the possession arrow at the start of the quarter rwb started with the ball to start of the fourth and they never flipped the arrow mm. so, dreamers ball. it's a it's a common we mistake can talk it. it happens yeah we it all happens. make mistakes everybody makes mistakes except them. <laughs> the <perfect one. laughs> just give them space and use your lens you think cam wilder's nervous right now no hey use your he lens. has an eight point lead lens. Yeah. And you know what? The Dreamers have played a great second half, but they haven't been able to get past that seven, eight point mark. I think once you get down to five or something, you can feel a little bit nervous. Yep. Then again, if he hits a three right here, J Jack going the other way. Oh, he's from behind him. Ty Burns going from behind. Oh, my God. J Jack. One way jack. Boy, hey, Woo! switch it, switch it. That boy is special. What? That J Jack bounce is crazy. Snipe, you had a great view of that. Oh, 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 and that was enough for me. Green it, green I would have never jumped out, in that round after that. Woo, green it, green I can't hear the word Hawkins without thinking of Stranger Things. And what? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I can't. It just doesn't register right to me, man. I've never seen it. You've nah. never seen I, I didn't watch the last season, I'll be honest. It's filmed right here in Atlanta. Stranger Things? Yeah. 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 Caleb McLaughlin actually one of Overtime's first followers ever. Really? Yeah, very interesting. Burden off the mark. You know that's based on a real story? What's his character in Stranger Things? Frost. Nice finish. They're uh, running off with a lead, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's one of the main guys. Yeah, he is. 12-point lead for RWE with seven and a half minutes remaining. Lewis oh. pumps, kicks, steps out of bounds. Nah, hey, hey. John Lewis is legit. Take another look. J-Jack. Watch him fly. 12-point lead for RWE. Don't go anywhere. It is time for the Cash App Lockdown of the game. Darion Sutton. I mean, roll the tape. Just an unbelievable block here. You think he's beat? So it's not so fast, Tom. Yeah, man, Eli thought he was gonna get one off on him, but he forgot that he had a 6'10 wing who's super athletic chasing behind him. Darion Sutton, one of the best defenders in all of OTE, the lockdown, the Cash App lockdown of the game. We love to see it. See it. Shout out to Cash App, man. Shout out to Very Cash easy App. to use. Feel free to Cash App me some money as well. I Cash App overtime Megan a few weeks ago during the OTE dunk, dunk show at the takeover, and uh, she, didn't, she didn't send it back. You know who's been straight cash this half <laughs> is Eli Ellis, who had no points in the first half. You heard that correctly, no points in the first half, and has been lighting it up here in the second half. That third quarter especially on fire for Tom. He needs to find a stroke here in the fourth. He's got to light it up, and our chat needs to light it up. We got a lot of people going crazy right now. Ken YNG, come back. We got 13K on the YouTube chat, a ton more on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. Um, and yeah. You guys got 22, or no, Isaac's got 22. I think you guys got 17. People were asking how many he's got. And Cheese Weasel is from Montana watching the game. And here you see the difference in two halves. 
Eli, zero points in the first half, a lot of turnovers, second half, different story. Killing it. Tale of two cities, as they would say. Right now, 12 point lead snipe. Do you think they can come back? Nah, they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. Snipes the most honest person ever. <laughs> I just feel like even though they're clawing in, that you made a good point. RWE responds, man. They can never get lower than that eight-point deficit. Nice finish, man. Juan Davis up to 22. And look, Quan Davis and Carter Knox at 55 of RWE's 84 points. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good duo right there. And just remember, this team is missing Sampto right now. Oh, what? Eli. See, and that's something Eli could not do last year when he played for the City Reapers. He could not finish at the rim like that. He's got a lot tougher, a lot stronger, more athletic. Great finish. Some old English at the rim. Take another look. That's on two six nine six foot ten defenders who are, who are a little bit older than Tom. You oh, hear yeah. the horn? Oh yeah. Time for the big bonus. Big bonus. You wanna know how the name Big Bonus got that uh, got chosen? Tell me. We were just we just called it the big bonus. There's not a good story behind it. And thank you very much. <laughs> no. One of my favorite big bonuses ever, a lot for yourself. Just like a Tracy Just they they do it up. So Carter did it this game. <laughs> Not Darian Sutton did it this game. That's kind of smart. I think they're playing horse at this point. Didn't though. Kobe and T Mac used to do that all the time? I seen you do it once too. That was an accident. Oh, oh blocked by Big Nate. As much as we're giving Eli a lot of credit for turning around, Isaac has actually been very quiet this half. Yeah. And if they want to win, He's going to need to get back active as well. I would say both of them need to hit three threes each if they want any chance. Isaac had 15 first quarter points. He's at 22 right now. We got a little injury in the corner there. Jay Jack, Jason Jackson, hopefully he's okay. We got a player sleeping on the bench there. On the Dreamers, it looks like. <laughs> Something with his hand. RWE cannot afford another injury to a starter, I would say. After losing Sompto, and now you got obviously J Jack with his thumb there. I've had three surgeries on my thumb. Have you really? I have. J Jack has played great tonight. 16 points there, Carter. Yeah, when Carter misses a mid range jumper, he genuinely looks confused. You almost threw a tantrum, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no idea. Wait a minute. Came out. I always hit that shot. Eli. That's tough, bro. What? That's crazy. To 21 on the game for Eli. Dude was just a catch and shoot player last year. Now he's doing up and under school blade. The ball control is really crazy. I think. Sudden. A pretty finish, lefty. He's nice, bro. Just clearly taking advantage of smaller defenders. And that's where I think he's going to be able to excel at the next level. Such a tall point guard. He's going to be able to pick and shoot. Ooh, first time we've seen Eli Ellis versus Carter Knox out there, and Eli fires and misses. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That's the last person you want to be in. <laughs> oh, fight with. You don't want to be in the dogfight with Daquan. Big Don's like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> if you see Daquan fighting the bear, help the bear. <laughs> Knox. Oh. Ooh. Hey, sniper. Hey, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Tell me where you been. I was going to say, you waited too long in that. You left me out to dry there. I was so excited for my moment, I blew it. <laughs> Back up to a 17-point lead for RWE. Look, the Dreamers went on an 8-0 run to start that third quarter. They clawed back in it, and RWE asserted their dominance. Let's listen in on the huddle. Here we are. This is what I want. Nate. Carter. Darion, you got the ball. Who's my shooter? Lincoln? And who else I got? 20. Here's the zone set. Got it? You got to catch high, Lincoln. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. Uh, underneath, Quan. Underneath. Y'all are stealing this guy. Downhill. Right here, Carter. Turn. Screen him. Got it? You got the lob, Nate. Throw the lob. If he, if he cheats out, Carter, it's going to be open in the corner. Got it? Here we go. So remember, you're going to pass and get it back. You're going to run through the screen the other side, inside. Yes, Darion, be patient and then slip it through. Here we go. Yeah. 
I'm stealing all that shit. RWE up 17. You wouldn't know it based on that huddle, though, Tom. I think they want to score 100 points. That's the whole entire thing. Shout out to Ezra Khalil, who has been crushing the chat, doing a very good job. Lion VR. Cam Wilder is not at the game. He joined us earlier on the broadcast late in the uh, to start of the second quarter. If you want to rewind and check that out, we talked a little bit. Gavin says put in Nelson. I think Nelson's in, uh, I, think, I think he's in Australia right now, honestly. Isaac. He said he had a date in Australia. He took a private jet. I, I don't know what happened. A private, jet. a private jet to Australia. Eli Banks, you got a question? Let us know what your question is, man. I will try to find it the best I possibly can. I like that quick bucket right there. Yep. 21 points for the scoreless man in the first half. Uh, it's 23 now. Oh my goodness. Just changed. From zero points to team leading score. And I hate to say this, that you was right. You said he's, he's wait, wait. You said he go for uh, 20. Wait, sorry, my headphones just went out. Yeah. One more time? Yeah, it's not happening, brother. <laughs> we got we got to check the stats. That might be wrong. Um, great sportsmanship there between Eli and Daquan. Eli caught him in the face. They dabbed each other up. So it's not all hate. You know, I think it's just good competitive energy. Between Tom, them. who's taking the shot? Um, Derry on side. <laughs> A little late there. <laughs> oh, pack it up. Pack it in. I don't know why they don't do that every big bonus. It feels easy. The baseline lob. Eli pulls it back out. That's too tough. Ooh, that's a bad oh. line. Shout out to Ashley Miller. Foul. That's a foul. Oh, he got him on the wrist? Yeah. Ashley Miller called it. She said RWE was going to crush the Dreamers, and she was right. So shout out to Ashley. Take another look at that big bonus finish. I caught it, too. <laughs> Sudden to Nate. So, guys, we've seen four great teams tonight, right? We saw RWE versus the Dreamers, of course. We also saw the Blue Checks versus the City Reapers. And we'll talk about it in a little bit. Tom, OTE basketball will be back on Prime tomorrow night. Can't wait. Kansas commit Rakeem's pass more in the blue checks. Visit the O to take on the best score in the nation. In the nation, Sniper Jones. Carter Knox and his RWE squad. Tune in December 15th at 7 Eastern to watch it all go down only on Prime Video. Who do you have in that one, Tom? Um, in that one, oh, 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 oh. I, I love what I saw from RWE tonight. Blue Checks had a great, great, great first half against the City Reavers, but couldn't put it all together. I think that would be a close game. I, I think both games tomorrow night should be very close. What about Dreamers for City Reavers? Let's be that another one. Oh, I, I always feel like. I feel like the City Reapers are always in pretty close games. I mean, tonight they won by a good amount, but it was close for the for the first three quarters. I, I really think both games tomorrow night will be super close, but I see RWE and City Reapers sweeping the league. Ooh, okay, I agree with you on RWE. I'm going to go with the Dreamers tomorrow. Man, it's oh, it's shorthanded Reapers. Because I forgot about the, Because that. the Reapers have a short bench. They only had seven guys today. I, they're going to be tired tomorrow. I did hear Jaden Mustaf is questionable tomorrow. Okay. So if they okay, can get that, that would be guy, big. That's a bit that would be big. So well, we can we can make our official picks Official. Tomorrow. That's why you have to tune in tomorrow on Prime Video. Uh, everyone's asking for Romello now that we're getting later in the game. 16 point game. I think we get Romello at some point. point. Eli with 25, Isaac with 22, Don Lewis Hey, hey, this dude is automatic, bro. It's actually insane. Real Dons don't wear shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell me what that's from? I have no idea what that is from. Oh, uh, I mean, the Sopranos. <laughs> Never seen it. Sopranos, um, what's that? What, what's come that? on now. You ever watching any Tommy DeVito recently? <laughs> Why is these dreamers going the other way? Can the dreamers cut to 10 here with a quick little three. I want to is 100%. Yes. yes. Oh, man. Back rim. The answer is. Isaac, back out. That's who you want to shoot right now. Oh, man. Give it to him one more time. Oh. Isaac Ellis is like the best rebounder ever. Quan, three on one. Floater. Looks like he couldn't decide what to do there. While in the air, that's going the other way. Nope, stay in here. This is Romello. Let's get Romello in, huh? I would love nothing more. What do you got, Tom, uh, A dunk from Romello tonight? Come on. Maybe? Come on. Maybe? Come on. Need it. The chat is begging for him. 
Adam Serkey, put Mello in, bend over. We want Mello. Grayson Schmidt, uh, Eli, I don't know what that says. Um, if you want Romello in, throw a like right now. Ducks wants Romello. Shout out to Ducks. That's a great name. Jet, do you think Isaac is going D1? Yes. I think so, too. A lot of time. Hey, real quick, Tom, let's listen to the Lion G yeah, Dreamers yeah. huddle. So, Isaac, where you at? All right, use it. Let Eli set it. You use it. Eli, come off of it. All right, Eli, come off of it. Don, go set another one for Isaac. All right. If we don't get it, then when you set one for Isaac, Isaac, you can come off to a DHO to another one. we got to get the rebound. So, all five to the glass. Don's getting back with well, unless you're in there. If you're inside, get in. All five to the glass. Crash the rebound. On a mate, we're two faced. All right? Hey, match up, we're hot. Thirteen point game with three minutes left. Tom, do they have a comeback in them? If any team can do it, it is the dream. I agree. Um they gotta get some threes, they gotta get some steals, obviously with the press. They, they went to a to a man-to-man -man here out of timeout. And they fouled. Tom Lewis, by the way, up to 19. Ooh, big, big name. Yeah. Oh. Big Nate, Messia Dio down on the floor right now. We hope he's okay. He's been having an awesome season for RWE. The 6'9 forward from Belgium. We hope he's all right. Standing up like here. He's getting back up on two. There you go, walking it off. So just, just up, hey, just go up, for the steal. Try to make a play, all right? Big Nate didn't want to miss these free throws. That's no. why he was like, I'm not coming out. I'm shooting these free throws. But I mean, you can't sub. That's the problem. Come up with some rebounds here. Screen right here and roll. All right, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Finish. Big Nate back out here at the foul line. Yeah. These guys are so tall that when they hit the floor, I am terrified. I mean, Big Nate hey. at 6'9". Look, when I fall, it hurts. It's got to hurt a lot more for him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you don't, have, you don't have to score. Move it out. Hey, big games play, right here in Atlanta. I just want to remind everyone, we Sorry, also got games going on tomorrow in New York. Jelly Fam, Ooh. Jelly got, Fam, and the Cold Hearts will be playing tomorrow night oh, while we, we're watching yeah. the while the pr at the, the prime oh, game is at 7 p.m. Right, that'll we be a great game down here. We'll also have a game yeah. going on in New York okay. City between Jelly Fam and Cold Hearts, and that is a game I'm dying to see as well. Who? Who do you got in that one? Oh, I rock with Jelly Fam all the time. Yeah, uh, us New Yorkers, you know. Yeah, we stick. But, but I've been really impressed with the Cold Hearts. Cold Hearts have the hey. most complete hey. team right now, yeah. and, and they have the most health. Back up, back up. Yeah, like, RW's missing a few guys. Five, uh, five, five, you got step up there. Yep. Step, step, step. So knock on wood, Get hopefully they can five. stay healthy because they got a complete team for sure. But Jelly Fan with Ian Jackson stunts. And, and we got games on Sunday too. We do. Friday, Saturday. We got so Travel. many games. We are in the swing of it. Abu. Good box, good hold. Good foul, good foul. Is it safe to say it's too late? Yeah. Yeah. Knock it down, let's go, hurry up. <laughs> I think so. So the two North Carolina teams came out here today. Quark, 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 Blue Jacks, quark. they put up a good fight, ultimately lost to the Reapers. Dreamers put up a good fight, also ultimately going to lose the RWE. Go between those two teams, who, who you got? Between, wait, wait, between who? Between the two North Carolina teams. Who's your favorite, mm. favorite team right now? Who's better after watching tonight? Hey, Ooh, I'm going to say... You got three. It's tough. I'm going to say the Dreamers. Part of I think it's the Blue Jacks. So here's what I'll say. When teams are so reliant on the three, yeah. it makes me a little bit nervous. Sure. Like, you know, a football team that can run the ball, they kind of know what they're going to be like every game. When, you, when you're taking 53s a game, yeah. 
you're kind of playing with fire. So the ceiling for the Dreamers, I think, is as high as any team. But, you know, you could have nights where you're, you know, Eli goes cold in the first half. That happens. That's right. basketball. So I think that's a, kind of a scary part hey. for the Dreamers. Hey, um, I think the Blue Checks are more solid. Bonus? But I like the Dreamers ceiling more than the Blue Checks. I think right now the Dreamers have the leg up that Eli's played what, in the what, league what for a whole year, and that's helping. But I think Blue Checks in the long run, having Rakeis and Jasim Felton, asking, what is yep. he doing? Like, earlier, I, I love those two. And if Paul Jones can make... 60% of his threes like he has so far. I mean, like we said in the last I game, how good all eight teams are this year is pretty okay, freaking insane. Right Anyone can win any night. Middle, middle. Okay, I'm going to flip middle. your question back to you. Okay. But, uh, between the Blue Checks and YMG nothing, Dreamers, nothing. who has the best player? Oh. It's still shaking. He's drawing. He's, he's creating the contact. I didn't know he could do that. Wow. Uh oh, another one. He might Give have another up. one. Oh, Give he's not up. looking. Quan. Oh. A little bit of this. Oh. 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 He's everywhere. Move it. Move it. Wait, wait. Shout out to Coach. Coach Fraser. <laughs> Eli floater. Oh. Yo, Quan is up hitting everything. Ah, Eli down. We got Eli down right here. Quan, the first guy over to check him out. I, I want to throw it up. I think he got hit in the uh, oh the midsection. Okay, fair enough. Getting up right now, and the Dreamers are gonna sub out all their starters here. And uh, wait, Romello is at the scorers table. Hey, oh, chat, go crazy for Romelo. I need W's in the chat, Romelo's in the chat, number one's in the chat. Romelo Hill has Bam. checked into the game, Bam. and Eli looks okay as he walks off. Ducks, we love you, man. Great job. Mason Purvis, Cam's back home, watching the game, tuning into his team, watching them get another win against the YNG Dreamers. Zati Lubaki, Evan Morton. Uh, Miles Beard, a lot of new guys in for the Dreamers here. For everyone that's watching right now, reminder, we have two more games tomorrow night. Same times, right? 7 p.m. Yep, and, uh, 7, and, we'll, and we'll have the second game right after. But the first game at 7 p.m. will be on Prime Video. Make sure you watch on there. And then after that, right after that game ends, you'll be able to bounce over to OTE's YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram and watch the game over there. So these teams will go at it tomorrow night again. Some great basketball. I need. We need to spend our Saturday or Friday night with all these people tomorrow night. Oh. I'll I'll be there. The yeah, question is there. if they'll be there. I'll be there. Snipe, Snipe, you'll be there. Of course. All right, I'll see you there. Eli and Isaac are gonna be there. Carter Knox is gonna be there. Rakeez Passmore, Jasim Felton's gonna be there. Jakai Howard's gonna be there. So I was about to ask you a question before and got interrupted by that crazy dunk by Knox. Between the Dreamers and the Blue Checks, who is the best player? <laughs> Look, you can ask about the whole week. Who's, who's the MVP, right? And no, it's, but no, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're asking a good question because Eli is obviously the best player on the Dreamers. I think Rakeese passed more. Just seemed Felon's amazing, but I'm going to put Rakeese as the number one option on the, on the blue checks right now. You're seeing Carter Knox tonight. We've seen a lot of other guys. Nas Cunningham. Um, on the Cold Hearts, it's a bunch of different guys. Maybe you throw Michael Brown in the mix. But yep. if I need an MVP, I think it's Eli because I think the Dreamers are literally zero without him. But if I'm going with best player, right now I think Rakeese Passmore and Carter Knox are, are a good a good path above everyone else. Carter Knox just hit the 30-point mark. He's up to 31. That's low. You know what's funny about his game, too? It feels, I don't want to say kind of quiet, but he just, you look up, and all of a sudden he's at 25 points. Scoring for him is effortless. Like, it's just, I, I think... Tonight he's played really well, but there was a game earlier this year where I don't think he thought he played very well and he had 25. There are some guys that they catch fire and you look up and, and you know, bang, 12 points in three minutes. Eli is kind of like that. Carter is, it's very, uh, you know, it, it's a full game process and he'll easily just put up 20, 25, 30 and, points. And look, there's a big few months for Carter Knox. He's a senior. He's a top 15 player in the country. I think he should be a top five player in the Agreed. country as we go through all this. He should be a McDonald's All-American. He's leading RWE in scoring. Uh, one of the best players in the country who will pick, who will decide very soon what his next step is uh, after his senior year playing over here at OTE. So 
Um, he's got offers from Kentucky, Louisville, USF. G League Ignite, G San OTE. There's a lot of different things that Mr. Carter, and he has a lot of good options. A lot of good options. I, I know what option I would pick, but that's just me. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Nah, Carter, Carter's the best. Hey, by the way, Asar Thompson, the best OT player of all time, him and a men, obviously. Asar will be uh, he'll be in Atlanta this week. Oh, they call oh, a five on a three? They play the Hawks? Play the Hawks on Monday night. Okay, I believe. there we go. So a lot of good things happening. Asar and a men are playing in the NBA. We got Carter Knox here dropping 32 points, about to hit, score a few more. Romello Hill's in the game. We got games in New York City. I need Romello to get a bucket here. I agree. Carter up to 32 points. There's a SAR. Carter so is good. undoubtedly a five level scorer. Not only can he get the midi, get to the cup, shoot the three, but he can also play ISO and post up, man. There's no way, no how you can stop this guy. Five level score. Five level. He coined the phrase. I mean, I feel like I know a lot of basketball. I've never heard someone say a five-level score. That's because they never really dig beyond the surface, man. It's more three levels <laughs> of scoring the ball. You got ISO, you got pick and roll, you got post up. Of course, you got the mid-range, the three-pointer, and the layup, but it's a lot more to basketball. How score. many levels are there? Well, if you're a complete package, you got about five to six. Five to six levels. Five to six levels. <laughs> Carterson, he's a complete package. Tom, I'm with you. I didn't know he had that kind of explosiveness in him like that dunk we saw two minutes ago. And he finishes the game with what, 30, 34 points? 34. Morton. Oh, oh. four point play lined up. Evan Morton, 6'2 guard from Charlotte. East Stroudsburg commit. That's a great, that's a great commitment, Tom. <laughs> where is that? Stroudsburg. I know, I, I know East Stroudsburg, but I don't know where that is. I think it's in Pennsylvania. Is it? I, I'm, I'm guessing. Or Ohio? I love asking people. I love Pennsylvania. I was right. Where, I'm the, a, where I'm, the March Madness? I'm getting school smarter school. as I get older. <laughs> get the ball to Romello. Romello. Oh wow. Hey, this should play this team. <laughs> Morrison. Ramel, get out! Get out of the break, Ramel! Go, go, go! Oh, here we go. Take it Romello yourself. time, let's Come go. Come on. Come on, Come on Ramel. Take it yourself. Oh. Give it back, give it back. Come on, here we go. Crawford. Oh. That would have Crosby. A little bit off the mark. Oh. Uh oh. Crosby! Lincoln Cosby, remember the name, one of the best freshmen in the country, the phenom. You know how hard it is to be on RWE as a freshman, in OTE as a freshman. Him, Jaden Wilkins, they're both doing it to Hari Miller, obviously on the City of Reaper. Shout out to the, to the class of freshmen down here in Atlanta. And that will do it. RWE holds on to win this one. 107-92, exciting game. Tom, your thoughts? Um, look, the Dreamers had a tough first half. Eli scoring zero points. I think that third quarter is obviously where they want to be. When he's scoring like that, it opens up shots for Isaac, Big Don Lewis. But I mean, they're gonna they're gonna struggle with the size factor and with the athleticism factor. And if Daquan Davis is gonna play like this, we talked about the MVP. I for, I didn't mention Daquan Davis, but I mean, you can't talk about anyone being more valuable to their team right now with what he did against Eli on the offensive and defensive side, unbelievable. And you're seeing the matchup right here. The matchup lived up to the hype. 27 for Eli, 22 for Quan. I thought the first half was really Quan who won that matchup. And yep. Eli, especially in that third quarter, really took off. Finishes with 27. And our very own Sniper Jones is down there with Quan Davis right now, the player of the game. Snipe, take it away. Yes, sir. I got my boy Quan Con with me. Great W today. They came in undefeated, but y'all got that W. How I feel? Feel great. You know, to get another win on our belt coming in two and two. Uh, yeah, it's still good. <laughs> now, once again, we've seen it on full display. Not only locking up on defense, but getting buckets on the other end. What was the thought process tonight? Um, you know, I was just being able to make plays for my team. Like you said earlier, I think it was because of you. You know, me and you talked earlier. He said he could shoot better than me. I had to prove him. <laughs> 
All right, man. Well, hey, great game. I'm tuned in to see what you guys got in store tomorrow. I appreciate you. Back to you guys at the booth. 22-9-8 for number five, Quan Davis, your player of the game. RWE wins this one by 15, 107 to 92. A great night at the O. Stay with us tomorrow night. We'll, we will be back with more action for Sniper. For Tom, I'm Alex. Overtime day. See you tomorrow night. Back here at the O. Peace.